Welcome back. Today, we're going back to basics with the top 10 questions and answers related to health, safety, and environment. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out in the field, revisiting fundamental concepts is always beneficial. Before we dive in, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this topic? Drop your comments below and don't forget to check out our website, hsebox.com, for more resources. Now, let's get started. Question number one, what is HSE and why is it important? HSE stands for Health, Safety, and Environment. It encompasses practices and procedures aimed at protecting the well-being of workers, preventing accidents and injuries, and preserving the environment. Prioritizing HSE not only ensures compliance with regulations but also fosters a culture of safety within organizations. Question number two, what are the key components of an effective HSE management system? An effective HSE management system includes policies, procedures, risk assessments, training programs, incident reporting mechanisms, and continuous improvement initiatives. These components work together to identify and mitigate risks, promote employee involvement, and drive organizational excellence in HSE performance. Question number three, how can organizations promote HSE awareness among employees? Organizations can promote HSE awareness through regular training sessions, toolbox talks, safety campaigns, and participation in safety committees. Providing clear communication channels, encouraging employee feedback, and recognizing safety achievements also contribute to fostering a culture of HSE awareness. Question number four, what are the common hazards in the workplace, and how can they be mitigated? Common workplace hazards include slips, trips, falls, ergonomic strains, chemical exposures, and electrical hazards. Mitigation strategies may include implementing safety protocols, providing personal protective equipment, PPE, conducting regular inspections, and promoting hazard reporting. Question number five, why is risk assessment essential in HSE management? Risk assessment helps identify potential hazards, evaluate their severity and likelihood, and prioritize actions to control or eliminate risks. By conducting thorough risk assessments, organizations can proactively address safety and environmental concerns, minimize incidents, and safeguard workers' health. Question number six, how can organizations ensure compliance with HSE regulations? Ensuring compliance with HSE regulations involves staying updated on relevant laws and standards, conducting regular audits and inspections, and implementing corrective actions as needed. Collaboration with regulatory agencies, industry associations, and legal counsel can also facilitate compliance efforts. Question number seven, what role does leadership play in promoting a culture of safety? Leadership plays a crucial role in setting HSE priorities, allocating resources, and fostering a culture of safety throughout the organization. By demonstrating commitment to HSE principles, leading by example, and actively engaging with employees, leaders can inspire a shared responsibility for safety. Question number eight, how can employees actively contribute to HSE initiatives? Employees can contribute to HSE initiatives by following safety procedures, reporting hazards and near misses, participating in training programs, and suggesting improvements. By empowering employees to take ownership of their safety and that of their colleagues, organizations can achieve meaningful HSE outcomes. Question number nine, what are the benefits of integrating sustainability into HSE practices? Integrating sustainability into HSE practices not only reduces environmental impact but also enhances organizational resilience, reputation, and stakeholder trust. By adopting eco-friendly technologies, promoting resource efficiency, and engaging in community initiatives, organizations can create long-term value while safeguarding the planet. Question number 10. How can organizations measure the effectiveness of their HSE programs? Effectiveness of HSE programs can be measured through key performance indicators, KPIs, such as incident rates, near-miss reporting, safety training completion rates, and compliance audits. 
regular review of KPIs, benchmarking against industry standards, and soliciting feedback from stakeholders enable organizations to assess and improve their HSE performance. And there you have it. Our top 10 questions and answers on HSE Back to Basics. We hope this video has provided valuable insights for both seasoned professionals and newcomers to the field. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more informative content. We want to hear from you. What topics would you like us to cover in our next video? Drop your suggestions in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe, stay informed, and keep making a difference in the world of HSE.